Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber driver is here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Far too kind. You guys and gals, you ought to know what to do. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Kim folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, so the year 2016 came around, and for the first time, since 1992, I set it out. I did not vote for Donald Trump. I definitely was not going to vote for Hillary. So I set it out and wasn't feeling Trump. Okay, wasn't feeling him. And then after he won, to my surprise, I was like, okay, let's see what he does. That first year, you see all the media hated him. And they were trying to run him down. He passed the tax cuts. And I was like, okay, he's a real deal. All right. 2020 come around. I'm on fire for Trump. I'm like, man, this guy is it. He's filling the stadiums. I went to the World Congress Center to try to see him, but I came a little bit too late, so I didn't make it to the to the rally. Um, But I was on fire for Trump, all right? And you see Mr. Biden here was hidden in the basement. He does, he does not come out and campaign. He doesn't do nothing. He was just sitting back making a statement here and there. Now, Obama, wow. although I'm not a fan of Obama, he too knows how wow. to control the crowd. He has a big crowd presence. He has a big personality. Wow. Trump also has a big personality, and he can control the crowd. You know what I'm saying? But Biden, Biden doesn't have nothing there. And you're trying to tell me that Biden got more votes than Barack Obama, the first black president. My grandfather would tell me when I walked out the door in North Scranton, North, 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 Scranton, North Washington Avenue in Scranton. Y'all come on, guys. Come on, man. Y'all cannot convince me. I don't care what they say. Georgia, all y'all, all you states, Michigan, Arizona, you cannot convince me that y'all got more votes Biden got more votes than the first black president. So it's never here or there. It's already done. It's in the books. We have a resident in the White House. Now, we see the two contrasts of how they doing um the campaigns. All right. We see how Trump goes to Harlem and have this. And then we see Mr. Biden here in his own hometown, and he visits a gas station. And they don't even stand up. They don't even stand up, greet him. There's no enthusiasm. They look like, oh, look at this old geezer here. And kept it moving. What about when he first came in here?
his warm welcome was a group of Palestine calling him Genocide Joe in his own hometown. <laughs> a reporter asked him about the Amish community. The Amish community is about 150,000 in Pennsylvania. They got Trump flags on a, on a horse and buggy. And they asked him about it. And he says this. Around the area, you see a lot of Trump signs, not very many Biden signs. Do you feel like you're in trouble here? Well, you haven't been driving the right places, pal. So this is why they're trying to keep Trump tied up in, in court. They don't want him campaigning because, again, they see that Biden doesn't have it. And the only way to slow down Trump is put him in the court or take money from him and putting gag orders on him. He can't say nothing. His political speech has been. Well, this is clearly an illegal, unconstitutional gag order here. We have gag orders to protect criminal defendants who are going through the process. It is a limited uh, time, place and manner restriction to protect criminal defendants and their constitutional rights. And for these Democrat prosecutors and these Democrat judges to put a gag order on a criminal defendant is truly un-American, is breathtaking. That's against, that's against the Constitution. But they're going to try him. They try him. So he can't say nothing about the judge daughter who is campaigning against him. She's raising money on his name, and he can't say nothing about it. President Trump, if, if there's anyone on the planet who must have the constitutional right to speak out about the judge, the prosecutor, the staff, the witnesses, the bias, it has to be a criminal defendant going through a criminal process. Patricia James over there taking money from him, 175 mil. And there's no charges. Nobody can point out what are the charges are. But it's Alvin Bragg who is the one that, in my opinion, is being dishonest because he's taking this misdemeanor and he's bootstrapping, you know, federal election law and trying to call this some type of uh, serious felony fraud, which really is just a bookkeeping issue. And by the way, speaking of fraud, it's another example of a New York prosecution going after Trump where there's no victims. And like Letitia James, with the fraud case up there, there are nobody, there's no victims there. No victims. And even Alvin Bragg with his hush money with Stormy Daniels, there's no victims. There's no victim. They keep asking them, what are the crimes? What are the crimes? Non-disclosure agreements, they are standard. Hmm. Uh, wealthy people, uh, prominent people use them all the time. Even Fonnie Willis here in the Fulton DA's office has non-disclosure agreements with people in her office, I'm told. So let me get this right. We're doing this for non-disclosure agreement. This whole hush money is for NDA. You're going to try to put him in jail for NDA 36 times. And you won't mention what the crime is. What the in Manhattan, New York? and I and yeah. we were talking about this in the context of the Sixth Amendment and the right to be put on notice if you're the defendant of what you're accused of. And so, what Alvin Bragg has done is he said he committed this misdemeanor, and even though the statute of limitations ran, it's really a felony because he committed that misdemeanor with intent to commit another crime. And he literally says in the indictment, actually committed another crime, and he doesn't specify what that other crime is, and he does that 36 times for 36 felonies. First, it was a misdemeanor. Then you passed the statute of limitations. And then you brought it up again and made it into a felony. But they asked you, what are the crimes? All these legal scholars are asking, what are the crimes? 96 counts, but you can't not name it. We all see it. You're only trying to keep him from the campaign trail. So he's there in Harlem. He said, fuck it. I'm going to make lemons to lemonade. I'm going to make a campaign stand right here. pretty bad on you guys. The optics are looking bad. And you cannot convince me. I don't care. It's 2024 and I know Mr. YouTube is going to strike me for saying this. There's no way that Biden won that election fair and square. You cannot tell me there was that much hate for Trump to go and vote for Biden. 
Cause look at it now. It's the same guy four years ago, a little bit, he's a little bit slower. We know about mumble rappers. We have a mumble president. Uncle, they call him Ambrose uh, Brosie, they call him Bosey, my Uncle Bosey. There's no way. There's no way you can convince me. Man, so guys, once again, I said this before, I'm going to say it again. Do not wait till November to vote. Once you see your mail-in ballot come in, vote it, send it, and make sure you get a receipt. If you're in a state that has early voting two, three weeks in the head, make sure you go and bring a friend. Do not wait till the day of voting. We got to get them early. Bring a friend. All right? So that's the only way we're going to beat them. It's too big to rig. We have the numbers on our side. We have the most enthusiasm on our side. And we cannot do four more years with this guy in president. Can't do it. All right. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. All you haters, get off my lawn. Yeah.